Hello, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for November 10th, 2020. Happy birthday to all of the Scorpios born on November 10th. Many wishes, dreams, happy blessings to all of you on your special day. And so it is. All right, Scorpio, we're going to dive into the reading. Go ahead, roll the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to today. I have the number six, the number five, and the number three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that down. Six, five, and three. That brings me to, let's see, six and five is 11, plus the three is 14. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Calling upon the power of Archangel Michael and all twelve signs of the zodiac to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Scorpio cross watchers, the judgment card. Ooh, what are we getting a judgment call on? Or who is going to give a judgment call? Or something here wants to get resurrected. Between either you or your person, Scorpio. Let's see what's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. What is this judgment called, Archangel Michael? The seven of coins. Somebody here does definitely want to revitalize this relationship and get it built back up and running again. The seven of coins. Some of you are dealing straight up with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It does not have to be with the judgment card. Some of you guys are dealing with another Scorpio more specifically. Let's see what else is going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven of cups. But see, somebody here has been all up in their head with confusion, delusional energy, or they've just been mentally overwhelmed about how to resurrect this relationship between you and them, Scorpio. Probably because there's just a lot of chaos going on around somebody's environment. Message from the Seven of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Star card. Somebody views you as the Star, Scorpio. They want to have a healing of this relationship with you. Bottom line, some of you guys are dealing straight up with an Aquarius for some of you. Or the, the revitalization or the resurrection of your relationship could be happening through the season of Scorpio. Maybe even through Capricorn season, because that would be the next earth sign energy kicking in. Okay, could happen sooner than that, but let's see what's going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What's going on? The Four of Cups. Somebody here wants to come back and, and basically apologize for not paying attention to the red flags, for the meddling conflict, for not paying attention to somebody's intuition here, and to get somebody out of an unsatisfactory environment or a feeling that somebody has been going through. How are they going to do that, Archangel Michael? One, two, three, four. The six of coins, equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. Somebody here definitely wants to balance the scales here, but they have to walk away. They have to completely walk away because I have the eight of cups energy. They have to walk away from metal, a meddling environment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Temperance is going to lead the way. Sign of Sagittarius coming in. Okay, so somebody has gained some form of wisdom, knowledge, and discernment while the two of you have been separated from one another. Okay, message from Temperance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How is Temperance going to help out here? The Wheel of Fortune, my girl, Lady Fortuna, coming in. The Wheel of Fortune, unexpected change or events that are happening and are going to happen. So it's like the wheel turning to the right. And for some of you Scorpios, you could be dealing with a fixed sign. Leo, Taurus, another Scorpio, or an Aquarius energy. Message from the Wheel of Fortune. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 
they've been spying in on you, Scorpio, probably through a social media platform or somebody is trying to seek out information through somebody else to see what you are up to. Message from the Page of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The Two of Cups, man, oh man, oh man. They want reconciliation big time. They're coming in for reconciliation. Two of Cups, what do you want to say? One, two. Okay, they're they okay. They know that they brought about a lot of emotional conflict for you, Scorpio. But at the end of the day, this wheel of fortune wants to turn for the better. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy as well. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The gang's all here. How are they going to get past this meddling conflict, Archangel Michael? One, two, three, four, five. What is their action on this? The Fool card. Fantastic. That is fantastic energy. That means somebody is going to be in that carpe diem, seize the day, not looking back, not looking back to the troublemakers. They're going to get very bold. Somebody here is going to get very bold and they're going to have the courage and the strength that they need to move forward victoriously. Message from the fool. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with an Aries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The tower moment. And when this person comes in, it is going to be unexpected. The reconciliation is going to be very unexpected. Because something happened in somebody's environment that came crumbling down to the ground. Judgment is here. The tower card is here. And after that type of energy, justice shows its face, you guys. Message from the tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries that was born on November 16th. The Two of Swords. The, the ground, let's put it this way. The foundation is going to come crumbling down to the ground. Whatever made somebody blindsided to the truth. The truth of the meddling mother figures, the father figures, aunts, uncles, brothers, cousins, sisters, the whole nine yards, you guys. Karmic girlfriends, karmic boyfriends. Somebody is done with being lied to somebody is done with being blindsided to the truth somebody here wants to resurrect this relationship and i say that they want to do it fast somebody's had enough somebody has had enough the queen of swords they know that they're coming in to see the queen of swords and they're hoping that they're not going to get the third degree <laughs> for some of them because a lot of you guys have been manifesting manifesting for your person to come forward through temperance and through the star card. So you're, a lot of you guys, your manifestation is going to come true and this person is going to come forward. So pick and choose your, pick and choose your words wisely because you too do not want to be in the five of wands. Especially if your person comes back to you before November 13th because Mars is still in retrograde. Message from the Queen of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. They're coming in with an emotional love offer. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What are they going to say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. What is this? How are they going to... They're going to tell you that they've been at a crossroads. I think they're going to just flat out be very expressive. And there, some of them are going to be reaching out to you from a distance because some of you guys are at a physical distance from the person that you love the most. One, two. And they, they're they going to tell you that they want to make plans with you. For the four of wands. That's why. Twin flame, soulmate, 11-11 connection. I'm ending it there, you guys. This relationship, the person that you love the most is your twin flame. They are your soulmate. They are your life partner. They're going to express to you that they want to have this foundation, the structure, the stability, and get things up and running and be better than what it had had been before. Somebody, I think, has captured the vision and has seen the light, we shall say, because of the star card. 
Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio and cross watchers, stay blessed, stay safe, and we'll talk at you later.